Check this out, guys. I started growing some tomatoes, and it's actually really easy to grow tomatoes. Uh, this is how you do it. You just, uh, you know, put some soil in a little pot, add some tomatoes, and then uh, put more soil on top, and then water it. This is after, I don't know, 14 days here. And uh, yeah, it actually works. So I had to make sure they started growing so I could prove it to you guys that it's that easy to start making some tomatoes. So start growing some tomatoes. Anyway, my last video, I got this trampoline and I put it up. And to be honest with you, I hate it. I don't like the trampoline. It's just in the way. It's giant. It's 12 feet. I don't have a flat spot anywhere. I'd love to put a flat spot like right here, but I can't. I have all this dead stuff that I have to get rid of. And you know, it's really hard to move things up and down this giant hill without passing out and dying because it's such a hill. I have to come up with a solution. So uh, we're gonna create a way to transport things up and down a giant hill today. Yeah, we're gonna do that. So let's get into it. Let's go to the drawing board, Alex. Okay, so this is my plan. I wanna put two wheels on uh, each side of a tub, so four wheels total, and then I want to create a little bit of a rail system. For the prototype, we're going to use two of these. These are Hot Wheels tracks, and then I'm going to add these wheels to the tub. But I'm going to be honest with you, I pooped my pants. So I'm going to go home, and then I'm going to come back. Probably tomorrow. It's a new day now, and we're going to start building this prototype. Uh, did I mention these wheels? They cost me about seven bucks a wheel almost. That's a lot of money for a stupid wheel, but it's okay because uh, I get to write it off on taxes. This is a business expense. And the more business expenses I have, the less money I give my government to commit more war crimes. So I'm doing a good thing. So I put the wheels on the tub, and I'm not going to lie, it looks pretty smooth on the track here. So I found this pallet here by this dumpster, and I'm going to cut it up and use the wood for my device. Let's do it, shall we? I didn't plug it in. I better go plug this thing in. Oh, there we go. All right, let's cut this thing up. That, that's as powerful as it gets. <laughs> you know, the extension cord is so long, it's probably just losing so much power, right? Probably not that, probably not that. Uh... Anyway, I ended up improvising with a hammer. All right, so I'm back at the land. I got the boards here. They're all lined up. They were way too big to fit in my car when I was, uh, you know, using the hammer. So I actually walked three giant boards back to my apartment. My arms were ginormous afterwards. I cut them at my apartment. I went and bought a Ryobi uh, saw, an electric saw that they sell. I bought Ryobi because I'm gonna support Ryobi, you know? They sent me a whole bunch of stuff, lawnmower, leaf blower, you know, weed whacker, all this other stuff. So I never thanked them in a video, so I'm gonna thank them now. Thank you so much. I'm gonna support you. So I bought their saw, I cut these things up, and then I went and returned the saw. But anyway, uh... <laughs> Let's start this product, huh? All right, I'm just gonna drill some screws here into the Hot Wheel track. Just like that. So I got the track all set up, but now we have to have a way to uh, bring this tub up the hill. Okay, so now I'm gonna drill a hole in the tub, just like that. This is for a hose. I'm adding this to the uh, tub. Whatever. Check that out. So now I have this little hose adapter, okay? I found this hose reel thing on the side of the street. My town, people just like to dump stuff on the side of the street. So we're gonna put this at the top of the hill. Here it is, I got, I got it up where I want. I'm gonna bring the hose down. Let's try that again. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna connect the hose just like this. Go. The device worked great, guys. There was absolutely no problems with it, okay? I had no problems. I didn't throw it down the hill out of frustration after it fell off the track. That never happened. <laughs> it happened. I got upset. And I'm done with the device. I'm absolutely done with the device. Now, since I gave up on my device, I really can't clean up here and create a flat spot for my trampoline. So, I'm gonna have to do something better. I'm gonna take my personal pleasure and I'm just gonna throw it out the window, okay? I don't need a trampoline. 
I got rid of the trampoline. It's gone. I got rid of it. We're going to do something better here. We're going to start growing apples. And we're going to create our own apple cider vinegar company down the line. And it's going to be the purest apple cider vinegar that money can buy. I believe personally that the apple cider vinegar companies now could be compromised by evil people. And, well, I truly believe that some of them are compromised by evil people. Let's start planting an apple tree. How about that? What should we do? Should we do the apple golden delicious? Or should we do the apple Fuji? <laughs> We're gonna do the apple Fuji or Fuji, whatever it is. I'm gonna leave this on here because I want the tree to, to know about itself for a little bit. I don't know. I might put some brick around here, make it look a little cleaner. Maybe over there I'll add uh, this bad boy. I have one more. This one's gonna be green apples. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But I do want to plant you. We're gonna plant you. I got these half off because I think they were dying, but hopefully they still live. <laughs> All right. Hope I planted it right, too. If not, I'm gonna have to do it again with another tree. But I think I did you fine, so don't you worry. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.